Welcome back to Streamline uh, Entertainment. Um, it's a story that I wasn't going to go back to, but um, I found an interesting video of um, someone who really, really studied and um, zoomed in on what was in the back garden um, in the um, Las Vegas home where a boy obviously called the police, him, his brother, I think, and his parents saw aliens in the backyard. And it, it is a inter interesting video because there's a lot more information that um, I actually, this guy, uh, Guitar and Ghost, has actually got his YouTube channel explained, um, which is absolutely brilliant. So it, it, it sort of makes sense in what he's saying. I'm gonna play the video and let me know what you think. So the kid who made the 911 call um, of the experience of a, of a with the OrionLines.com, small craft crashing in his backyard while he was working on his Mustang or something. So he just released a, a video of himself explaining it a little better than on the news, which we got last night. But he just released this video today and to go into more detail and um he releases he releases a video and he actually his mother actually got the being on film captured the being on camera standing over them It, it like slinked up to them, but it was camp and it was camouflaged. I'm gonna show you where it is because, well, I'll play this a few times, but check it out. It's a little difficult to see at first, but when you look at it very carefully, I think what I felt there just before the video goes on is that they must have um, felt some kind of presence which made them um, uh, uh, back up some kind of field force or energy um, because obviously these aliens seem super, super sophisticated. And, you know, what I didn't know is basically that they were probably using camouflage uh, so that uh, the humans couldn't see them, which is of high intelligence. So that makes a lot of sense why I think people were looking for these aliens and there wasn't a clear picture. It's because obviously these aliens didn't want to be seen, um, uh, basically, because of uh um, basically being known uh in the area um which is just it's just unbelievable but um he goes on some another another some more fascinating stuff coming up did you see how it slunk up look at behind this fence right here a black mass comes across and that's the top of it, but a black mass shows right up, right above them. That looks to be nine, ten feet tall. See? You see the black mass coming to screen like that? That's their camouflage. You ever heard of shadow people? Guess what? It's their technology. Look how tall it is. It's exactly, you know, it's it's nine, ten feet tall. It's above them. It's standing right next to them. They didn't even fucking know. You can almost make out the eyes. Big black eyes. Jeez, I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's... Uh, yeah, you see how you can make out the eyes?
but it's blurry. And that's what the kid said. The kid said he went back outside and he's like, it was very blurry. I know what that is. Time displacement. It's because they're in a different fucking dimension, a temporal dimension, a different temporal dimension. So they're able to, they're able to stop time altogether and just walk around, take a Coke out of your buddy's hand and, and then put it in somebody else's hand or drink your Coke and leave you with a can and all of a sudden it's just empty. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. But that's how they travel. That's how they roll. Super intelligent extraterrestrial be beings with technology that is beyond possibly billions of years old. Unbelievable. Um, what he just said um, about um, the technology they're actually um, using to become invisible, camouflaged, and to be able to um, stop time. And like I said, the boy said it was um, blurry. And um, sometimes he just went still for seconds. So I think that was the defense mechanism shield um, as a protection um for the aliens using their sophisticated equipment so not to alarm the people or for them to shoot i think that's pretty pretty amazing and that explains a lot why um a lot of the video was distorted or we couldn't see what was actually happening so the tarzan ghost i have to commend you um for um, the zoom ins and showing us a correct picture of what we should be looking at. It's brilliant. And so it's very clear to me that this is, it, it's caught on camera. You can see the being slink right up. It's kind of like it floats over. And maybe this is the chin. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, slowly move forward. Oh, too much. See? Big eyes, big mouth. Well, well, well. Huh. And it looked right at her. It looked right at the camera. Look at there's the big mouth. Holy shit. Yeah. They look, they're extra dimensional. Let's see if I get that a little better. So, as crazy as it seems, it's true. But yeah, this is, look how it slinks right up there. <laughs> Dude, was standing right fucking next to them. That's the scariest part. It was actually um, looking at them. And there's another video where I think it was crouching down. And you could see, I think his hands behind the, the fence and, and its eyes looking at them as it was crouching down. So it must have come out of camouflage mode. And um, maybe the aliens can only do that for a certain amount of time before they have to show themselves again. Um, but it, it, it was very, very, very strange. Very, very strange. And now I can understand what the boy was saying. Um, is it a, 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 a paralyst or something? where you go stiff and um you you just for, for a cup you know a couple of seconds can't move and uh that's what i think the boy had and some of the other family members had um the powerful technology is is, is something definitely not from this world that's weird real strange but um it explains a lot
It was standing right fucking next to them. They didn't even fucking know. Look at that. See that? Different temporal. And I've seen that before. Look at it. We gotta move. Shoom. 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 Yeah, you can see his eyes. You guys see that? <clears throat> so. Well, now I know kind of what it looks like. I'm going to go match it with my species to see if it's one of them, which I think it might be one of them. But there's some UFOs recently. This one's moving, isn't it? In circles, mm. <gasps> there it is. Whoa! Look at that. I've never seen one like that, y'all. I've never seen a lightning bug either. It's not a lightning bug, guys. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Goodbye and good night. Good night. Good night, moon. Um, you know, it's really sucks. Or it's weird. I've seen that shit before around me. Maybe they're just in a different temporal dimension. I don't know. Yeah, I think there are a lot of um, crafts um, out there um, which are unidentified and not from this world. Um, I said it in a, an early video, I was driving back from Swindon. Uh, I was working out there some years ago and I saw two crafts. Um, I actually um, parked the car up and had a look two crafts which were not uh basically planes or any other uh object apart from the spacecraft it was very 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 strange the way we were moving was something that i've never seen before so i do actually believe um they're um out there but um, i mean for this family to see nine to ten foot creatures in their back garden that must have been absolutely so, they must have been so afraid and scared and not knowing what it was and, um, you know, suffering a bit from paralysis as well. That's really strange. So how's it going, everybody? It's um, four o'clock. On the East Coast. I wish I lived close to the beach. I wouldn't mind going to the beach. I like listening to the ocean. I'm feeling it. Like pull, pull and push. I like that. Um, let's see, um, yeah, do you know how many beings or like they, people have seen that are really fuzzy and they move really weird? That's because they're in a different time frame.
But that's so important what he just said, different time frame. Um, their intelligence is something that uh, we wouldn't be able as human beings to understand it all. We can understand some points, but like the invisibility and the camouflage and the equipment they use is just unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. And it just makes you think sort of um, um, what have uh, the government found ships, aliens, you know, they could be here already. We've heard stories of them here mixing with humans. It's, it's, it's um, definitely a fascinating world we actually live in. We're in a diff they can slide in and out of reality. Different reality. That's an UFO, digger. Having time travel changes the nature of reality. <laughs> It's so good. Hey, I'm going to go to the What is this? What is this? What is that was there one minute and gone the next. I make this funny because my brother saw something in Thailand where he was seeing the sun go down and um, he saw that sort of a bright rounded ship and he goes, Mom, it, it, it's, it was the most weirdest thing he'd ever seen. And then it was there for about 15, 20 seconds and then it shot off. I don't think he's, you know, he's got the, that um, video anymore. But I remember seeing it and I said, you know, that's not, that wasn't normal. It was there and then it just um, shot off at some crazy speeds back at, you know, back into the heavens. It is weg. No, it's just no, 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 Du siehst es nicht mehr. Aber es ist noch da, man sieht es noch. Es ist noch ganz leicht. Aber es, es kommt so vor, als ob das so verschwindet, weißt du? Man sieht That's interesting. Wow. Well, um, that's the end of the video, but um, I've learned a lot more uh, about the aliens and their super intelligence, um, about invisibility, and camouflage, and uh, basically uh, blurring so people can't really see them as protection for themselves. So uh, basically, I had to really put that video uh this video up because it just explains a lot why people couldn't see them directly um but like i said it is a fascinating world that we actually live in so i've i've learned something uh from guitars and ghosts um it was a, a brilliant video it explained a lot and um, it was very pacific pacific and we just have to remember that there's a higher intelligence out there um, that sometimes are watching us and it's life. We've just got to accept it. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline uh, Entertainment and support me. Thank you very much, uh, Marvin.